Good day. Thank you for coming to my presentation, Magnetics Materials for Use in Silicon Carbide and Gallium Nitride Designs. I'm excited to introduce Magnetics Linebound Materials. I feel confident that among these materials, you will be able to find a material that is suitable for your application. I plan to mention the industries that currently are using Magnetics Cores, describe our new materials and how they compare with our established powder core materials, introduce custom blended options, and compare five of these materials and shapes with a 22 kilowatt bi-directional onboard charger power factor correction three-phase single-phase design. Since the introduction of the gallium nitride and silicon carbide semiconductors, inductor designers have been selecting new materials that will operate at the increased frequencies the semiconductors support. Alternative energy and e-mobility industries have adopted higher frequency designs. The increased frequency operation allows smaller designs, often redesigns with surface mount components, resulting in reduced size and weight and increased efficiency. Magnetics R&D responded with the creation of several new low-loss materials able to keep pace with the higher frequency option. Here is the lineup of our current standard magnetics materials. With magnetics materials, there are always trade-offs made between performance characteristics, inductance, DC bias, watt loss, and cost. We tend to compare powder core material performance to cool mu. Cool mu is an excellent material for cost-sensitive designs. The lower DC bias characteristic means that more material is required to support the inductance at high current. Cool mu max exhibits the same low watt loss, but the size of the design can be reduced due to the increase in DC bias. The reduction in size and resulting reduction in copper costs can offset the increase in core price. If cool mu max would be your choice, but you need lower losses, or if you are operating at elevated frequency, then cool mu high frequency is an excellent selection. You may think of the cool mu family of cores as being old school, but although sales in Europe have been steadily increasing over the past three years, the cool mu family of cores makes up 50% of the total magnetics core sales in Europe. X flux and high DC bias X flux are great choices to support high current at lower frequency. For the increased DC bias, you give up a little in losses. High flux is a known material known for high DC bias. It is still a good choice in many designs that require high DC bias in a high perm material. Our research to improve the loss characteristics of high flux led us to the development of our new material edge. Edge has excellent DC bias and very low losses. High DC bias edge offers the highest DC bias in the industry with a small trade in higher losses. MPP is currently used when the smallest size is required. MPP is used in aerospace, downhole drilling, portable electronics, and implantable medical devices. Cool Mu Max is the next generation of Sendust cores. With greatly improved DC bias, the number of turns needed to support the required inductance is reduced. Two Cool Mu Max shape materials have been introduced. Shapes have lower losses than the toroids of the same material. Cool Mu Max 00A material has better DC bias and lower losses. Cool Mu Max 00Y material is less expensive. The round center post of EQ and LP cores offers minimal winding resistance, ideal for heavy gauge wire or flat winding. Their planar shape facilitates a low profile compact design. In comparison with E-cores and other non-planar cores, EQ and LP powder cores offer better space utilization, shielding, and improved thermal performance. Cool Mu High Frequency is our lowest loss material currently in widespread use and in magnetic stock. Designed for use at frequencies above 100 kHz, it has been shown to improve efficiency at lower frequencies also. If you are not at elevated frequency or do not have a wide flux swing, you will find the Cool Mu Max performs well. There is no cost difference between the two materials. Here is the comparison of our Cool Mu family of materials when you require elevated frequency. 
This chart illustrates that you can achieve lower losses by tightening up the flex swing. Be sure to consider the drive level that is being applied to the core when you look at a competitor's quoted loss figures. Often they are quoting very low losses, and when you check the drive level, it is at 200, 100, or even 50 gauss. Edge is a new material designed for high efficiency, high density designs. It is an ideal material for onboard electric vehicle applications. Edge is used anywhere space and weight is a major factor in the design. Since it is a nickel based material, it is available in a wide range of perms. The smaller size design allows for reduction in both losses and more significantly copper costs. Here is how Edge compares with our similar materials. We developed both Edge and high DC bias Edge materials to target being the highest DC bias materials in the industry. If still more DC bias is required for a high current design, we offer high DC bias Edge. 26 perm high DC bias Edge supports 500 Orsteds at the 50% DC bias level. Our newest material, Colmu Ultra, is for designs that need losses approaching ferrite levels but also require the stability of inductance at fluctuating temperatures. Outdoor uses include electric vehicles, buses, outdoor lighting, and signs, anywhere that temperature fluctuations could affect performance. At this time, 60 perm engineering samples are available. Here is the Magnetics Roadmap graph showing all of our materials with respect to core loss and DC bias. Customers often ask for something that will have performance between 78 and 50 materials on this chart. One customer specifically asked for us to offer something with high DC bias in that range between X flux and high flux. Our vice president who oversees process control developed five blends that are similar to X flux and high flux, but offer both electrical characteristics and costs that are in between those materials. These are the specifications for the 22 kilowatt onboard charging bidirectional power factor correction. I wanted to present a design that would be useful to compare the characteristics of the various materials and shapes in a real world electric vehicle design scenario. The design I chose is a 22 kilowatt onboard charger that can be used in a three phase or a single phase connection. The customer has already completed the PFC design calculations. They require 70 microhenries at an RMS current of 33 amps, max RMS to be 38 amps, and to achieve the 70 microhenries at peak conditions of 45 amps. The semiconductors chosen by the designer are silicon carbide. The design goals are high power density, high efficiency, bi-directional capability, single and three phase AC compatible, low cost, small footprint, and to meet thermal requirements. The efficiency target is 98%. The AC ripple permitted is 8 to 10 amps. The inductance target of 70 microhenries is measured at 45 amps. Using the LI squared product, I selected five cores, calculated the losses, estimated the temperature rise, and compared costs. The LI squared chart agrees with the Colmu Max core chosen. For the Edge core, I wanted to stack two cores because Edge is often chosen for its compact design. In the past, I have found that for power factor correction designs, the best design is often to stack two smaller cores. We wanted to compare a Colmu Max E core set for customers who prefer this topology and also illustrate a high flux shape. Here is the summary of the five designs. The Coolmu Max and the Coolmu High Frequency designs came out fairly close to each other in terms of price and performance. The Coolmu High Frequency had slightly lower losses. The difference in losses between the two materials would be greater at higher frequencies. The most compact design with lowest losses is on the edge stack of two cores. The High Flux EQH planar design has similar losses to the edge design in a slightly larger package and slightly increased cost. When the recording was due, I had not completed the testing on the High Flux and Cool Mu Max e -corps. Testing will be completed by the day of the show, and I'll have the measured inductance values. In comparing the five designs, I have illustrated that for any specific design, 
There is a wide choice of materials and shapes from which to compare properties. It all depends upon which elements of the design are most important, size, cost, or core losses. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions about the presentation or would like to order core samples, please contact me at the email address shown here.